Hello and welcome to the tutorial Introduction to QCAD 2D Drafting Tool. In this tutorial, I will introduce you to the basics of QCAD tool and its interface. Let us look at what is QCAD. It is an application for computer aided drafting in two dimensions. Using QCAD, you can draw technical drawings such as plans for buildings, interiors, mechanical parts and diagrams. QCAD Community Edition is available for download at this website. For this tutorial, I am using GNU Linux Operating System Ubuntu version 10.04 LTS and QCAD Community Edition version 2.0.5.0. If you do not have QCAD installed in your system, you can do so by going to System, Administration, Synaptic Package Manager, at the search box, look for tool QCAD and download following applications. To know more about how to install applications using Synaptic, please refer to the spoken tutorial available on this website. Once installed to run the application, go to Applications, Accessories and Terminal. At the prompt, type QCAD and hit Enter. This will launch the application in 10.04 version. For other Ubuntu versions, it is available under Applications menu. In this tutorial, we will see menu items and toolbar, drawing objects, snapping tools, and using layers. A typical QCAD window looks like this. It is standard menu bar on top. Options like Draw, Dimension, Modify, and Snap are QCAD specific. On the left side is the toolbar, which is used to draw objects. At the very bottom is the status bar, which displays various information about the current drawing. Notice as my mouse is moving in drawing area, coordinate widget on the extreme left side is displaying absolute and relative position of my mouse cursor. Right above the status bar is the command line for QCAD, which is used to put in exact coordinates to draw objects. On the extreme right side is the layer list and the block list. They list layer and block related information for the current drawing. We will know about these in details in subsequent tutorials. Right in the middle is the main drawing area, black in color with dots. Dots signify the grid. At any time you can choose not to view grid by going on to the top option and click on this grid icon not to not to show the grid and click it back again to make it visible. Similarly, all the other windows like command, status, layer and block can be enabled and disabled by going to top menu view option, views and check box in front of the window of your choice. QCAD uses Cartesian and Polar coordinate system to draw objects. To draw objects, we use toolbar from the left side or it can also be accessed from the top menu draw option. Let us start by drawing a line. From the toolbar, click on the line icon. There are numerous options to choose from. Let's click on line with two points. Notice the command prompt is asking to specify first point. Move your mouse cursor on the drawing area. There are two things happening now. One is mouse cursor has changed into white crosshair and there is a blue circle appearing right below the mouse cursor and it is basically hopping from grid to grid as I move my mouse waiting for me to select. I can click left mouse button to start uh, click for the start of the line and click again for the line to end line is drawn notice if I keep clicking further it will keep on drawing the line because QCAD is still in line command for this I need to come out of that command to come out of any command you press either enter or escape button from keyboard twice or double click right mouse button and you are out of any command Similarly, you can draw parallel lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines, lines with uh, parallel lines with a distance. Let us see this option. When I choose this option on top, I need to specify the distance between the lines and the number of lines. Let's say 10 here and number of lines I want 2, 3, enter. Now you need to move the mouse cursor closer to the entity in relation to which you would want the lines to be drawn. Once satisfied, I can confirm the selection by clicking on the left mouse button 
and lines will be drawn on the board. Now let us see arc tool from the toolbox. Select arc. I am using arc with the center point and angles. Uh, choose from the snapping option, choose snap to grid. Notice the command prompt is asking specify center. Left click mouse button to specify the center. Now it is asking to specify radius. I can press 30 and specify start angle. Left click. Again left click. The arc is drawn. Double click right mouse button to come out of that command. Let's try and draw a circle. Go to the circle icon from the toolbox. Click on it. I am using circle with center and radius. Click again from the snapping option. Choose snap to grid. Command line is asking specify circle center. Go on the grid and left click to specify the circle. Circle is drawn. Because it is drawn with the previously specified radius. If I want to change, I can change. Draw a new circle with a different radius. Unless you come out of that command, it will keep on drawing circles. So double click right mouse button and you are out of that. Now that my drawing has become busier, I can use zoom from top menu view, zoom in to zoom in on the more details or view zoom out to see the wider extent. Zoom is a very essential command because it is very useful when you draw details. Similar effects can be achieved by using rolling a middle mouse button to zoom in and out. Or I can also use view, third option auto zoom to fit the drawing in the given area. Let us try a drawing um, new file. Let me clear this area. For this I click at one corner, select and then from top menu I go to modify, delete selected. Every drawing in QCAD starts at absolute 00, zero position which is marked by this red cross hair on the drawing area. Every other point is drawn in relation to this absolute 00, zero point. Before starting any drawing, it is important to set drawing preferences to let QCAD know which units you are using, what grid size you would want. For this, you go to edit and there are application preferences, current drawing preferences. Application preferences are the ones which apply to entire QCAD application rather than just a single drawing. You can change background, grid color, meta color, language, or uh, set the specific unit that you want default unit, let's say meter here and click OK. Now let's go to edit and set current drawing preferences. These apply to a particular drawing and notice that once you close the drawing, these need to be set again. So paper applies only when you want to print. Units, you can set unit for that particular drawing. Let's say inches here, decimal precision can be 0, 0. Grid, you can either choose to show grid or not show grid or you can give grid size as 0 0.5 by 0 0.5, specific size I want. Dimensions are useful when we, you want to dimension, start dimension on the drawing. Extension line, text height, all these points uh, matter uh, when you want to show the text height. If you think the text height or the line or the arrow is too small, you can always come back and visit this area later. I'm just setting some things now. After you are done, click OK. It's better to save the drawing before we start. So let's say File, Save As. OK. You choose the directory. I'm choosing Home Lena. And I want to type QCAD DWG. Notice it saves that DXF format, document exchange format, which is QCAD native. Click on Save. It saves the drawing. Let us start with our drawing. We will draw a rectangle and then cut it in half by drawing a line in the middle and draw a circle exactly in the center. Let's start with rectangle. For this, from toolbar, go to Line option. Select rectangle. From the snapping options, choose snap to grid. Move your cursor over the drawing area. And left click for the first corner of the rectangle. And click away for the second corner. Rectangle is drawn. Double click right mouse button to come out of that command. 
Now we want to draw a right line exactly in the middle, cutting it in two halves. This is where snapping options will be useful. Let's go click on line, line with two points. Now from the grid option, since I want it exactly at the middle, I choose snap to the middle point. And I go on the top line. Notice it is snapping exactly to the middle point of the top line. Click there. Go on the bottom line. Click again. The line is drawn cutting the rectangle in two halves. Now let's draw a circle in the center of the rectangle. Click on the circle icon. I'm choosing center and radius. Go over here. If you want circle to occupy entire width, I know my grid is 0.5 and there are 6 divisions. So that means my rectangle is 30 by 40. So I put radius 15 to cover entire width. And notice I need to click on the snap to center point and left click to confirm. The circle is drawn exactly in the center of the rectangle. Now that our drawing is ready, let's add dimensions. We always add dimension to new layer so that we can keep it separate. And uh, go to plus sign for to add new layer. Go to dimensions. Give it a different color so that we can identify it separately from the rest of the drawing. You can use type dash. Then go to dimension, horizontal first. From the snapping option, choose endpoints. So click on first point of the line, second point. Now to place dimensions away from the line, I, from the grid option again I can use snap to grid or free positioning and place it away. Left click once. Again to place vertical, go to dimensions vertical. From the end point, place it again away by using free positioning. This way, if I have it on a different layer, I can always, when drawing gets busier, if I click on this eye icon, to not to show the layer and see the drawing clearly. And when I want it back, click back on the eye icon again. Now, if I want to change attributes of any object, I click on that object, go to Modify, Attributes. Now, once the selection is made, click on the arrow. Let's say I want to change color to red. Width, let's increase it. And the type, make it dash and dot. OK. The attributes are changed. Let's save the drawing. Now that you are familiar with the QCAD basic toolbar and drawing objects, I would like you to draw a rectangle as shown in the figure with a size 20 by 30, center line of type dash and dot of color red, and true parallel lines 5 units apart. Please add dimensions on new layer. I would like to acknowledge Spoken Tutorial Project, which is part of Talk to a Teacher Project, supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. To know more about this initiative, please visit following website. Thank you. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and enjoy exploring QCAD. This is Lena signing off.